Hello everybody, this is the Mad Salvi coming back to you with another little thing regarding the whole Selen situation. Nijisanji is still circling the drain when it comes to everything that's going on. Uh, let's get into it. This is their big mistake. This is what they did recently that really ticked off a lot of people. And you can see why. She isn't even... Like, she hasn't even been gone for a long time. And they're already like, yep, look at our new merch. Look at our merch. I understand the company has to move on. I understand the company has to continue doing what the company must do in order for it to be successful. I fully understand that. And I agree with, you know, people moving on and such. But dear lordy, man, this was like, this was yesterday. It was on the same day that this was happening. It wasn't even just today. It was yesterday that this was going on. Elara says, this is beyond a professional at this point. Seriously? To call this disrespectful is an understatement. You guys are so jaded but to your audience, it actually is amazing at this point. My expectations for you guys were low, but holy S. Then, of course, we have the stick Tsuro Nekomata thing happening, where they go in, and they mention that so much for the rest of February. In 12 hours, you've cleared all of our inventory for Niji Sanji, and we've donated 2k plus revenue to the American Foundation for Prevention. Thank you so much for the love and support. Now let's go and give 10 times the amount to a certain bird. So here we go. This is what they've done so far. They have get all these standees, buttons, all this type of stuff has been given out to the peoples. Uh, 2170, as they're mentioning here. And then the American Foundation for that type of prevention uh, said, thank you for your 2170 gift. They gave it all, every single bit. They just covered their own cost and anything above that was given to this organization as they said they did. So they completed what they said they did. Now moving on, Lily Pichu, the one, the only Lily Pichu, the one who who originally did Last Cup of Coffee, said that she let Niji Sanji know that she's okay with it back in August of 2022. So over a year, about a year and four and five months to the day of like Ni Niji Sanji privating everything because oh, she didn't get enough permissions and everything. She said she gave them permissions. I feel very honored every time someone covers my song. I very much enjoyed Selene's cover, and it is so sad to see what happened. So basically, that, that's a response for someone saying, I'm, I'm sure Lily Pichu didn't expect that her song would end up being the straw that broke the camel's back and that got Selene Tatsuki fired from Niji Sanji Yen. Uh, i actually curious on her thoughts about the news. And then she just mentioned thoughts on the news. And of course, you know, people were thanking her for going through this. Next, we have another big issue. Sayu is a person who does voiceovers who's he's a voice actor and he tried to get into niji sanji and other companies and this is his what he said about what happened when he tried to get into niji sanji uh, for your voiceover do you have an agent and i was like yeah yeah i have an agent hey meow Maida, thank you for the prime 14 months and i was like yeah i have an agent and they were like okay would you quit your agency and i was like um, I don't feel the need to because I, I feel like agency and management are different. I'm like, okay, cool. So they you are. prioritize your voiceover. They are. And I was like, huh? What in the Genjutsu? What? Yeah, that's just weird. What do you mean? Huh? <laughs> um, and that didn't... Because they want the full money just to go to them. They don't want them to have side hustles for whatever reason. It doesn't really make sense to me, but they don't seem to want them to have side hustles. It doesn't work out. With Niji... They told me I could not do voiceover at all. And I was like, no. And they were like, is that non-negotiable? I was like, hey, I would love to work with you guys. But yeah, that's non-negotiable. Uh, for your voice. I mean, that makes absolute sense. That makes absolute sense. This guy already does pretty well as a voiceover person, as a voice actor. Why is he going to quit his career? Something that he enjoys, something that he is passionate about for a company like Niji Sanji that's just like, we want you to quit it. We want you to stop because I mean, honestly, they, they want all the money going for themselves. The guy, the CEO wants to build himself another yacht. That's pretty much what it is. It's a meme, but yes. And person down here says, sounds like Niji. Niji first, foremost, and only. Why a lot of them had to abandon their older VTuber models or outright dreams. Yes, Niji Sanji is a little bit unlike Cover. Cover Corp lets you keep your, your old uh, VTuber personas as long as you don't mix them. And Niji Sanji seems to want you to destroy your old personality, leave your old community, and create a new one with them. Which I makes sense to a certain extent, but I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Now, here's another thing I think I had mentioned before in another video that... um. 
Wikipedia in Indonesia says, what's the point of working in a company that looks so colorful, but in reality, it's just squeezing at will. And here they have the explanation of a black company with Nidhi Santi's little logo looking like a Pac-Man, but it's just, it's, you know it's Nidhi Santi's logo. That's what they did. Moving on, there is Fulgar Ovid, which is of Nidhi Sanji E-N. He is speaking up. He is risking a lot by speaking out. Even saying anything on the matter can risk harassment as we know now or bullying as we know now from management or other livers. So here's what he says. Sorry that this took me a day. I just needed it to get my head straight since there is so much going on. Treasure the ones you love. Show them how much you care. I'll do my best to be here for anyone who needs it. For anyone who needs the opposite, take care of yourself. And here's where he goes fully into it. In times like these, it's completely understandable for people to be feeling tired, depressed, or upset, which is true. I get that completely. I get that completely and wish I could tell you that I know how things are going to go from here, but I generally don't know either. Whatever you're feeling right now, it, know that it is perfectly acceptable to step away from the community, social media, or the internet in general if you need to focus on your own mental and physical health. I agree with that. Just step away if you need to focus on your health. It's absolutely, no one's going to blame you. Everyone deals with complicated feelings in their own way and deserves to be allowed the space to handle things as such. If I could ask one thing of people, it would be that to try to be kind and understanding to one another and not lash out at others who are also doing their best to deal with such complicated and raw emotions. Livers as well as fans are going through a lot right now. And so I would ask you to provide them with the same space to deal with their things in their own way and in their own time as we all work through this. Personally, I plan to return to streaming on Wednesday as per my schedule. In my streams, I've always tried to leave my own problems outside, though it's difficult at times. Many of us live streamers and streamers, many of us use live streamers and streamers to escape from the real world. And even as a streamer, I've always felt a sense of joy by leaving the world behind and sharing experiences with the community. I wish I could provide more information, but all I can say is that now is please take care of yourselves and support those who might need it. I agree with that. I have heard people have been giving flack and bullying and harassing Vox Akama, Rosemi Lovelock, Ike Evelyn, uh, Anna Alouette, Kyo, you know, Petra Gurin. All these people have been just mistreated. It is not right. Do not blame the livers. Blame the company. Blame Niji Sanji. If you want to hate somebody, hate Niji Sanji. Hate the management. Hate the CEO. Do not hate on the livers. They are just doing... They're trying to survive. They're trying to stream to entertain. A lot of them had nothing to do with this. It, even though there are some livers that did bully, we don't know the names because Selene did not see it right to put out the names there. So don't... Please don't use this as a reason to, you know, say ne negative things towards others. Blue, K9 Kudo, or Mr. Rias, has something to say in this whole situation. It says, regardless of the current situation and what is likely going to happen over the next few days, it's good to remember there are nice, hardworking people there who would try to please their fans and still make people's days even a little bit better. I hope they are okay. It's an F situation. Because on one hand, the reaction to something like this is obvious, but on the other hand, the outcome potentially leads to innocent creators being out of a job. It's so messed up. It's so sad. Of course, someone down below puts, it's, it's truly heartbreaking, Cherry says. No one there deserves this. Everything is past the point of no return. Thank you for your statement, Blue. It says, there has always been a lot of things I've wanted to say but could only Joker hint on, and even those things would only hurt innocent people who are just trying to do what they love. So I stopped. But now it feels like a lot of things are about to happen from my knowledge, and it's going to be unstoppable. As I said in my original tweet, holy moly. So he is hinting at some big changes happening in Sanji, a bunch of people being angry, a bunch of people, I don't know, uh, who knows, maybe more people are going to be graduating, maybe people are telling him, you know what, this is my chance to get out, I'm going to get out. We don't know. We don't know because he has a lot of people that he knew in Sanji who would still confide in him on certain situations, and we don't have that we're not privy to that information. Continuing on, good news for people who don't like Niji Sanji. They dropped 5% in the last couple of days on their, um, in total, since this whole thing happened, they dropped a lot. So this can be, causation is not correlation. Correlation is not causation. I think it's what it's called. And um, it could just be them dropping because you see it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, and then they drop. It could just be a drop because of the period we're in, which is January, February, the early months. It could, it could be a drop. It could be that investors are losing confidence. We don't know. Who is, the people that we do know are losing confidence are people who originally would be very trusting of Niji Sanji people, which is the people who follow the livers. We have Eno Alouette, all these people you're seeing here, 
dropping because people are making assumptions. Oh, you're probably going to be the one who mistreated Selene. You're probably going to be the one who made her have to leave. You're probably going to be the one, etc., etc., etc. We don't know. So that's why I always say, do not harass the livers. Do not put blame on someone that hasn't been outright named on this whole thing. Blame Nidhi Sanji because we know it's their fault. Blame Nidhi Sanji's management because we know it's their fault. Don't blame the talents because we don't know whose fault it is. And we shouldn't be making a witch hunt. A witch hunt should not happen. I'll say that again. No witch hunts, please. So those all the drops they're having. I really feel bad for Rosamie Lovelock because she seems to have been a very kind person to Selene from what I've seen in the past videos that I've been checking out. And she just got to her 500k. And now she got knocked down again because people are making assumptions based on a witch hunt. She could have been someone who, who mistreated her. We don't know. It doesn't seem like by her personality, but again, I don't know. And here we have someone who was a former Nidhi Sanji liver who's saying, this is as much as I'll say, but when I first joined, I had no idea things were turning out like this. I'm just so sad and so stressed for everyone. I wish I could have done more and I'm really sorry. So her current one is Dear SQN. You can look up who it was before. It's online. I'm not going to dox anybody. So there we go. Then we have Finano Ryugu saying that they're going to take a couple days off as well as Eno Alouette who's going to take a couple days off because they're starting to get mistreatment. And I, I understand and agree and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, we're moving on to lighter things, Doki Bird, because I want you to see how good things are going for Doki Bird, because everyone wants to know how Selene is doing in her new account. This is Selene's new account, the one she had to graduate from when she became a part of Niji Sanji, and now she's back. She currently has 231,453. I wanted to show this one because it says, I hope I can fix my sleep schedule before I stream again, because I just woke up. But 200k subscribers already, I never thought I will actually get my play button, let alone before my first stream. That verifies it. Triple verifies it, quadruple verifies what Zion Lanza said is that no one in Niji Sanji gets to actually keep their play buttons. It all goes to corporate. This right here, maybe I'm reading too much in between the lines, but this is the way I see it. This is her saying, I finally get to keep my play button. Thank you so much. I finally get one. Which means that Niji Sanji didn't give her any of her play buttons because I believe she was over a million. So she had her silver and gold play button taken away by Niji Sanji. Now at the very least, she gets a silver play button to look at be proud of and keep for herself, which is good. And another funny thing that started happening because of all this, even after all this, they are going and they are <laughs> trying to get a new manager for talents from Canada in this situation. They're trying to get someone who can manage talents in Canada. They're hiring a director. This is not going to go well. This is seeing it a little bit closer. Director in charge of overseas business, the requirements that they have, all the, the fun stuff. This is not going to work out for them. Um, I love Shachi. This is what Doki says. I love Shachi, one of the kindest people I know. She offered me to visit her and stay over just to keep my mind off of things. She even made me watch Twilight. Please support her forever. So Shachi was a friend even during the time that she was just Doki Bird. And uh, it appears that during the lowest moments that uh, Selene had after this whole situation happened, she stayed with Shachi, a very good friend of hers, it seems, and a very wonderful person who helped her forget the whole situation, forget what was happening, watch Twilight with her, and, you know... <laughs> was uh was uh basically she made fun of it later on saying you know you it's it's so it's a stereotypical high school movie and you know you don't know how bad it is until later on and then another wonderful thing that popped up she can finally show this she received a special package from ea which is wonderful to know that ea a former sponsor of hers when she was in niji sanji is still going to support her now that she is independent so that helps her feel secure in her future, feel secure in what she's going to do. And it's great to see that the company hasn't abandoned her and it's just seeing her as an individual versus what Niji Sandi's trying to show her as, which is great. And here she has a little bit more stuff on this that she had in her uh, waiting room for her uh, live that's gonna be on the 7th. It says, for the people in chat, I'll give you guys some good news. I got a manager to help me out. I cried when they told me I shouldn't have to fund my own projects and that sponsors can actually help with it. So again, like what happened with Nina Kosaka and Matarakan and uh, Mr. Rias and K9 Kuro, they both said they were surprised that they didn't have to pay for their own stuff when they went on and moved on. They're surprised that they get so much actual good treatment and actually good management outside of the horrors that is Niji Sanji. And here's more proof of this. They're actually a really good manager, well-known behind the scenes. I told them I'll only hire them if they can provide me three things that I want. And one was a PC sponsor, and they said it's possible. My manager is also working on opening a PO box for all of you two that want to be, you know, sending me stuff. And she's going to be vetting it for her. 
which is good. Also, I want to have a memberships and supers until I have three more videos posted. I'm thinking of maybe uploading three shorts just to maybe hit monetization early. Yes, because YouTube has certain monetization of 4,000 hours and that type of stuff. So she has to hit those. She has to have within the last three months, like a certain amount of videos and 4,000 watch hours and the subscribers. She's got it by a milestone. I also thank you everyone for donating on Streamlabs and the support on my Etsy. I'm so sorry for how slow the packaging is. There's a lot of orders, of course, because people are trying to support her. It was really worried during the last month, especially financially, so thank you. Medical bills and other bills were not cheap, and I was also stressed out, so thank you very much for your kindness. I know people are like, Canadian insurance built my care card, was ex but, my but her care card was expired when it all happened. Oh yeah, that she was supposed to get insurance for her hospital visit, but it was expensive because she didn't have her care card anymore. So thank you, you helped a lot with my life, and I hope I can repay you all soon. We don't, we're not, we're not asking for that. We're just asking for another cup of coffee. And this is what I, this is the visuals that I want to leave you with. This is Doki Bird, her smile. Let's protect that smile. Let's keep that smile going. She deserves it. And let's enjoy our cup of coffee with her. It won't be a last one. It won't be, well, there'll be many, many more in the future. Thank you so much. This is the Mad Salvi once again telling you not to brigade anybody, not to bully anybody. Let me know down below what you think down in here, of course. And my description has all of my socials as well as a video that I'll have in front of you in order to show you uh, other things that you may be interested in, including my last video and everything like that. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourselves. Take breaks when you want to and you have to. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.